exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome to Patriots Recap. They played on Monday Night Football last night and the whole world was watching and they probably shouldn't have been watching. It was a windy, snowy, just horrible condition game. There was reported 50 to 50 five mile per hour winds the entire game they never let up those winds were crazy like those are some of the strongest winds you'll ever see in an nfl game without like torrential conditions horrible absolutely like catastrophic conditions those are some of the highest winds you'll ever see so this game continued on and it was a very boring game <laughs> until like two minutes to go in the fourth quarter then it started to heat up a little bit with the drama but it was a very boring game. Patriots come up with the W, finding any way possible to win. It doesn't matter how you get it done as long as you get it done. It doesn't have to look pretty as long as it wins. 14 to 10, Patriots win. They seal up first place. There was a little bit of, of worry that if they lost this game, then the Titans would jump into first place in the AFC. They secure that for now. Patriots are sole possession of first place, not only in the AFC East, in the entire AFC, thank you, thanks to uh, the Steelers beating the Ravens on Sunday night, so or on Sunday afternoon, whenever, whenever it was. So let's get into this game, because this game was interesting. Not very exciting, but interesting. So the Patriots ran the ball a lot. <laughs> The Patriots went into this game and they said, we're going to run this football down your throat and you're going to, you're not going to be able to stop us. And the bills for the most part couldn't stop them. They did towards the end. They started to figure things out finally in like the fourth quarter. But for most of that game, the Patriots said, I'm going to run this ball. You know, we're going to run this ball, try and stop us. And they couldn't, the bills just couldn't do it. Mac Jones threw for an astounding 19 yards on three attempts. He went two for three for 19 yards. Unbelievable. I've seen a lot of Patriots games in my day. Trust me, I have been a fan for a very long time. I have seen a ton of Patriots games. I have seen the Patriots win every which way possible. I've seen the Patriots lose every which way possible. There's very rare times where I see a Patriots game and I'm like, thank God they won because it was going to get out of hand. And this is one of those games because I was all for running the football. There's crazy wind. There's crazy weather conditions. Just control the football. Don't fumble it. And... Just run the clock down, win three to nothing. I don't care. However you win, you, it doesn't matter. As a win, as a win, as a win. So just do whatever you can and just survive the game. But the Patriots took that to the next level and maybe even the next level after that because I don't know the exact... Let me see if I... I have the stats in front of me. Let me see if I can find the exact rushing totals. If I could find the exact rushing totals, I, I know it was in the... 40, high 40s to 50s, and it was 46, okay, it was 46 rushing attempts in this game, not from, like, one or two guys, this, it was, it was a team effort, even Mac Jones ran the ball a couple times, he didn't have, uh, very many yards, but he ran the ball, Damian Harris is a very, very hit or miss running back. Now, I've talked about in the past how I love Damian Harris, and I still do. I love Damian Harris, but he does tend to get hurt very often. He uh, he pulled up a hamstring in this game and didn't come back. I think it was like the third quarter he didn't come back. 
Uh, but even before that, he was hurt for a little bit and then came back and then got hurt again with the hamstring. So Damian Harris is a very hit or miss runner. He is a good running back. Like he is really good. He had 10 for 111 and a touchdown. And he even broke a 64 yarder as the Patriots first touchdown of the game. So Damian Harris is really good, but he's very, very hit or miss. Very, I don't want to say very injury prone, but he, he is on track to be very injury prone in his career, which is sucks because he's super young, super talented. But then came in Ramondre Stevenson, and this kid is a, he's a stud. Uh, he's a fourth round talent out of, I think, Arkansas, but I'm not 100% sure if that's where he's from. Uh, it, it could be, it's somewhere south, I'm pretty sure. Um, but he had 24 carries, 78 yards, averaging 3.3 a carry. And the funny thing about Ramondre Stevenson is he fumbled the ball on very early in the season, if not the very first week of the season, he fumbled. He put it on the ground. And Belichick yanked him out, as you as you do with uh, young players that make mistakes like that. You teach them a lesson. And Stevenson didn't touch the field for like the next three or four games. Then he comes back, and he's been a monster ever since. Ramondre Stevenson is coming into his own in, his, in this rookie season down the stretch. He is becoming one of my favorite players on this team. He is a bowling ball of a running back. He hits hard in the, in the running lanes. He goes head first. He goes right after you, lowers the shoulder, drops the pads. He is a big, beefy running back, and I love to see it. You love the power run game, and Ramondre Stevenson is one of the best at it in, on this team. So he only had 78 yards, but he ran hard, and he worked hard for those 78 yards. That is for sure. He is going to be explosive. If he can, if he can fine-tune a couple things, Ramondre Stevenson is going to be explosive. Now, let's get to the bad, the ugly, I should say, of this game. And that was a certain wide receiver that dons the number one. And if you're not familiar, I'm talking about Nikhil Harry. I have been on the train of get rid of Nikhil Harry for about a year and a half now. He's just run his course. He barely ever touches the field unless it's to run block. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not diminishing his role as a run blocker. He's very good at run blocking, and it helps out. It helped out in this game. He opened up many lanes in this game. Even he was one of the key blocks on the Damian Harris 64 yard touchdown run. So he's not completely useless, but he rarely ever touches the field in passing plays. And if he does, he never gets targeted. Tom Brady didn't target him. Mac Jones doesn't target him. He's, he's basically just useless out there. He's a big body guy. He just doesn't get used. And then for some reason, Bill Belichick, who prides himself, his, himself on special teams in horrible conditions, <clears throat> doesn't have their go-to special team guy out there, Gunnar Olszewski, who was out there previously. He has Nikhil Harry out there for some ungodly reason. I don't know what was going through Bill Belichick's head there. Has Nikhil Harry out there on punt return. The ball comes up, it bounces, just barely glides and connects with the, the face mask of Nikhil Harry, and the Bills pick it up, and that leads to a Bills touchdown completely flipping the game, completely flipping the momentum. Luckily, it didn't end up coming back to bite the Patriots in the end, but when that play happened, I was fuming at Nikhil Harry because, one, I was fuming at Bill Belichick for putting him out there, but two, fuming at Nikhil Harry because he shouldn't, should never be out there in the first place, and he should, he should have known to just get away from the ball, but he, like, he went back and then he like stumbled in and the ball just like grazed his face mask and the, it took a bounce and the Bills got it and they scored a touchdown on the very next play to Gabriel Davis and it just, it was a whole bad sequence. And Nikhil Harry, man, I know he's a good run blocker and I know he's got potential, I guess this so-called potential that Nikhil Harry has and he's had for like two seasons now, but he doesn't get utilized on this team in the right way. Maybe if he goes somewhere else, they'll use him and they'll find his hidden potential, but it's just not going to work on the Patriots. I know they don't want to get rid of him because it's a wasted first round pick, but he's just, he's not, he's not good. At least not on the Patriots. He's not good. Maybe, like I said, maybe if he goes to another team, somebody will find something in him. He'll be a good receiver. And I hope he does. I hope I don't hate the guy as a, I don't hate him as a person. He, I just don't think he fits what the Patriots want to do. At least not in the passing game. And 
Speaking of the passing game, the Patriots did not, I don't know if they didn't necessarily trust Mac Jones to throw the football. They certainly didn't want to test it in the, in the windy conditions. Like I said, two for three, 19 yards. I, I don't want to necessarily lean towards they didn't trust him, but it kind of feels that way. I mean, I know he's a rookie quarterback going into his first hostile environment. Well, his first, not his first, but one of his, for one of his first major hostile environments uh, against Buffalo. Those fans are rabid. Those fans are very opinionated, and those fans will let you hear it, good or bad, for their team or for the other team. So it is a very hostile environment. Um, there was a certain uh, adult toy thrown on the field a couple of years ago if you guys remember that that was pretty funny so these buffalo fans are very very crazy and i don't know if belichick and josh mcdaniels didn't want to let mac jones throw the ball because he's not the best thrower to start out with in these windy conditions you don't know what's going to happen maybe the ball gets taken a little bit with the air and it goes intercepted something crazy who knows but it worked out in the end so i don't care patriots win 14 to 10 I don't care how it happened. I care it's a win. Nine and four on the season. Number one seed, not only in the AFC East, but in the entire AFC. The Patriots are back on top. It feels so good to be back on top because last season was a struggle to get through, not even making the playoffs, but this year is almost guaranteed a playoff spot at least. So maybe even a number one seed and a bye. That would be unbelievable. Home field advantage throughout the playoffs where Mac Jones is a rookie would be unbelievable. This defense is unstoppable. This run game is great. And Mac Jones just has to manage games. That's all he needs to do. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Make sure to smash that like button if you did enjoy. Hit that notification bell and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.